Okay. <laughs> hello, 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 and welcome to part two. All right, here we go again in Chavi and his socks and sandals. But anyways, here he is air drying all of our cabinet doors. We did wipe them down with the damp cloth prior to this video. We are prepping them to get primed. The primer we are using is the Kills 3 Premium Primer Extra Heavy Duty and Stain Reducer. Alright, so let's get started. We are using the Wagner Spray Gun. It did take us a couple of tries to figure out the right pressure to use, so please bear with us. Okay, so now we are done with putting primer on both sides. We're gonna go ahead and wash this gun out so we can get ready for paint. Let's so, do it. Let's go. As luck would have it, it started to rain, so we had to bring all of the cabinet doors inside to paint them. We ended up using a brush to paint the rest of the doors. We had an idea to paint the trim pieces of the cabinet doors, so here you'll see me applying the scotch tape to around the trim area to have it prepped for the paint. Doing this took a long time. It was very tedious and annoying, but it had to be done. And I didn't stop there. I ended up having to ask Chavi to help me with the rest of the doors. My helpful, loving hubby. Okay, now it is time to paint this sink and then the wall and tub of the RV bathroom. And I covered up this little hole, taped around the area. So this is going to be painted and then that's going to be painted. And then this is going to be painted as well. You have to sand it and clean it very good before you actually start painting it. That's what it said in the instructions. I'm going to be using the Rust-Oleum Tub and Tile Refinishing Kit. This stuff is very, very strong. So hopefully I don't die.
We let the treatment dry overnight and the next day we started painting the interior walls. We chose not to prime the walls prior since the paint already came with primer and it worked out fine. Okay, while the paint in the shower is drying, I'm gonna paint this fridge. So I'm gonna take it out. Okay, like so. And this comes out like so. Are we still putting the chalk paint on this? Yes, we are. And we're gonna go do that right now. Wow. Wallpaper is going to look really nice on this wall, or I'm going to mess it up. So let's see how it goes. Come on. I've got the, sque the squeegee, whatever you want to call it. These two little pieces really tired me out, but you know what? We gotta keep going. I'm gonna go ahead and put in the time lapse and I'll show y'all when it's finished. Concentration level 1000. Here is one example of what the doors ended up looking like. I then started by screwing in all the hinges to the doors and next placing them in the designated area. I made the mistake of not labeling them, so at this point it was a guessing game for me. Luckily, it wasn't too difficult since most of them were the exact same size. We did run into a pickle in doing the reno the painting and the pretty part of oh, this yeah. of part two. Um, so look that way. 
Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. 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 <laughs> yep. So much for our wallpaper. I was looking forward to this. It actually came out really good when I first did it, right? But unfortunately, I don't really know what went wrong. What I think went wrong is this curved wall. Because obviously here it's peeling down. These weren't feeling it. And this one almost stayed on. Then another part we messed up on, or I messed up on, was right here. The instructions of the wallpaper, it says that you need to overlap it. I'm not sure if it was half an inch or an inch, but I barely overlapped it and it's starting to peel here. Or separating, I should say. I don't want to give up on the wallpaper. I would like to use wallpaper in another video, but definitely not on a curved, curved wall. Maybe like on a flat surface like this, like just straight vertical. And it will definitely overlap it a little bit more than that. But it's not over. We did come up with a great idea. So what we're going to end up doing is we're going to throw this wallpaper away. We're going to paint the whole wall black. And we're going to buy some like one by one pieces of wood from Home Depot. And we're just going to put them like, like all horizontally like this. All the way down to about right here. And I think it's going to look pretty cool. What do you think? Yeah. That'll look cool. Very modern, I mm -hmm. guess. We'll see how it looks like. But I know for sure when we put the one by ones, we're going to use our brad nailer. And that's definitely not going to come off. And it's going to work good on this curved wall because since we're going to use the nails, it's going to go look pretty good. And then we're going to redo the countertop as well. Oh, yeah. We're going to paint it. We bought some paint. Or we have to go buy it, actually. We're going to paint it. And then we're going to buy some of those chips, right, to make it look like granite. We're gonna throw it all right here go well, from there it's gonna look pretty good we painted the sink you want to show them the sink real quick we did use a uh what was it this, the the tub and tile refinishing kit right yes sir yeah it came out really good i'm surprised it came out that good because i did it of course and we got a new faucet installed we found this in the shed we were gonna buy a more expensive one from amazon but this one works and it looks pretty good it's chrome it's nice and chromey like a brand new home and then the restroom look at that brand new restroom Ta -da! you can't even tell that it used to be yellow oh it used to be as yellow as the faucet yeah yeah literally and then we still gotta fix this part because the piece that was right here it got warped from water damage and so I made this new piece, or I should say, you made this new piece, and I just sanded it down. We both did. Together. Um, and then we're going to sand it a little bit more, and um, and then we're going to paint it, and then put it back. So it will look like this, once it's done, to give it that curve, how it used to have the original one. Mm -hmm. And then we need to put the door back on. Yeah, I need to too. put the door back on. I'm not done painting it. Wait. After that, we have to put these trim pieces back on. They're, they're right here. I need to redo some paint on it. We gotta redo the trim like that, like so. It's very tricky to film in here because it's so tiny. <laughs> Alright. And then we gotta do the floor because this is not attractive. I think we could leave it like that. No. What do you say? We Should we go to Home Depot already and get the stuff? Yeah, I think we need to go to Home Depot. I think we already figured out what we need to buy. We need to buy flooring. We need to buy the paint that we're going to use for the countertop. Um, we need to buy... Hmm. Some food. Food, yes. Um, and then we need to find some one-by-ones for the curved wall. But since we're not going to use this wallpaper anymore... No. <laughs> Easy, Marty. We haven't had breakfast yet. All right, well. Let's go to Home Depot.
And that concludes part two. Stay tuned for part three in this RV remodel series. If you enjoy videos like these, follow along by subscribing and press that notification bell for more videos like these. And if you enjoyed this video, click that like button while you're at it. It truly does help support the channel. Well, we'll see you in the next one. Bye!